lot scarier to not commit to a DI option at the ledge at around like 70 or so. Absolutely, and it's uh, it's especially just so dangerous when you, like you said, you have the air drift, and it also just puts you in so much hit stun. So yeah. you, it, it's so easy for Kusi to just find the DI after removing your resources and exactly. just execute yeah, on it. A character like Rano kind of forced to hold in when they have those situations. All right. So far, starting off pretty even percent, but already kind of getting to Rai off stage. The, the light uh, or bri oh yeah, oh no, called out the DI in on the up airs and gets the bash to take the early stock. That is insane. Yeah, I I have not seen Kusi play too much this season, but I know as always he's not the flashiest player, but he always gets it done. Yeah, he oh, feels he doesn't like get the, the Ori that's kind of gotten it all figured out in a way. You know what I mean? Absolutely. All right. All right, calls out the tech chase there on the up strong. Yeah, Darai certainly figured out that tech chase, and uh, we are even stocks. Great parry on the fair there. That oh my goodness. The up tilt missed, and Darai parried the sign charge. We're already getting some uh, spicy gameplay here. Double soft bear. I thought maybe we were going to see a tongue conversion, but no dice there. Just getting these weak hits. Getting a lot of uh, straight conversions. Sometimes that's what you're really aiming for if you're Rano, right? Like, you throw out, like, the, the Nair. It lasts for a long while, and it will beat out a lot of the options the Ori goes for in the meantime while it's out, right? Yeah, exactly. You want to try and keep yourself a little bit more loose on your on your tight combos. Exactly. Ooh. All right now, yeah. Back off stage again. These edge guards have been so monstrous. Darai having to... <gasps> the back air trade! <laughs> we joke about frame five back air. But right there, that is the Rano special. Ah, oh, I have been hit. Back air. And oh. Kuzi dies one at 80. He did. I mean, he was he was expecting to keep holding to the left so he could push his advantage. But little did he know, that was his DI. Going yeah. for the up fair cheese. Oh, and again. again. Yeah, and again, another back air. Just emergency back air. You see Darai putting up a little bit of a smirk, a little bit of a oh, smile. Yeah. De already doing better. Game one going to Darai. Who's he looking a little curious on what he's going to do? He's looks like he's pondering. He's definitely pondering. Uh, oh, oh, I got a little bit of a. Oh, maybe just checking, making sure everything's okay with uh, with the. Yeah, there, he must have saw something, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're uh, we're chilling. The crowd's going crazy for Darai. Definitely a bit of a favorite. Yeah, I know the people love Darai. A lot of what he does for, oh. uh, for the community. And I know Darai does not love being off stage so early. Yeah, especially not at fifty-six percent as well. Oh, yeah, no resources. He didn't in. land. Yeah. Oh, the bubble. Yeah, right, he, one more he chance at doesn't it. really have a way to get back, though. Yeah. yeah. With no resources, even though he came out of hit stun, had the great DI to get out of that situation uh, and go into the bubble, there was just nothing left to actually get him back to stage. Yeah, unfortunately. And no right, gas in the tank. Yeah, and that is kind of the crux of it. You want to be able to manipulate the bubble. And if your opponent is able to do it before you can, then you're basically a sitting Ooh. duck over there. Oh, my God. Right now, Kusi saying, okay, game, game one, that was cute. Okay. The, the back airs, I, you know, I, I wasn't the biggest fan of those, but. Kusi decided the solution to dealing with back air was, I'm not going to let him ever hit me. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. We, uh, we are already at 128% on Darai's second stock, just barely living from that up air. The next one probably kills if it's in uh, uh, up near the blast zone like that again. Oh, yeah, great avoidance there. Oh, oh going almost for it. caught it. Yeah, dash attack coming out. The crowd is going absolutely insane. They want Darai to take this game so bad. All right, gets the up yep, there. Yeah, and dying. there's the second stock. All right, 104% on Kusi. Darai just not able to find this kill right now. Yeah, definitely needs to find this kill. Hey, the, the back air DI last game was certainly putting in a lot of work, but he just had, straight up has not had the chance to find a, a real advantage state so far. Yeah, not really that able to find That up air a... reversal, not, not cool. Unfortunate. Oh, called out the air dodge or uh, wave land onto the platform even. Not really an air dodge in that case, but... Oh, this is huge. Oh, oh okay. all that coverage, but he still couldn't find anything. Uh, I blame 69. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, 69% comes in and then you, everything just goes your way. You even find it, beauty in the places you least expect it. Uh, oh. You also find beauty in game two going off of the bash there. Kusi taking it with a strong two-stock. Found in his chest a little bit. 
Yeah, he's feeling himself after that. And he's like, yeah, you oh, know, yeah. He's like, I got this. I got this. You, you got to be proud of adaptations like that after a game you lost. Exactly. Like, you lost, and you're like, dang. It's because I was kind of getting just mashed on at a disadvantage, and yeah. I wasn't really adapting to that. But I can't get mashed on at a disadvantage if I never get put into disadvantage. Pretty much. Speaking of disadvantage, I really like this counter pick from Dry. It's a pretty good early oh, stage, yeah, but yeah. Um, these hanging side platforms are going to give him so much to work with when it comes to recovery. Oh, yeah. This and Trouble, I think, are fantastic stages for Rano and any character that can really do ledge cancel based recoveries. Absolutely. And especially someone like Dry piloting the character, his Rano recoveries are absolutely absurd. Yeah, like that right there, beating out, or at least trading with it, uh, with the uh, team up forward strong. Using the oh great, still living. Yeah, oh, but not gonna live that one. Oh, got the weak <gasps> hit actually. He got there for that. That's insane. Oh yeah, he's dead though. Yeah, he, went he too knew low. he was dead. Yeah, he went way too low. But that's insane that he knew that he was gonna be able to make it to that top platform. Yeah, seriously. He waited for the air dodge. He's a maniac. He's adapting. They are both adapting. We're in for a fire set. I really, I, you know what? I want this to be the first game five we see so far because uh, I don't want this one to stop. Yeah. Oh, great dash tech pushing into the corner. And all right, what's the edge guard going to be? Just a simple little light orb, just kind of boops. I, oh. I really like the option for the light orb, actually, because it just interrupts what the Rana is doing without being a committal at all. Yeah, it's basically like a low commitment projectile. Let you kind of do what you want to do. Oh, a little greedy for that down strong there, but could you see a rare moment to mess up, but doesn't get the roll. Actually able to get that up strong because the roll doesn't come out uh, fast enough. Yeah, despite it getting nerfed, it's still not the easiest thing to get out of, especially when you are not expecting it. Exactly, and right now this recovery. Oh, no. Oh, there he go. He had his resources. This is the side platforms coming into play so effectively for Dry. This is like a little, little bit of Tempest Jr. in there. Shout out to Dinko Esports. It really Esports. is Tempest Jr. Yeah, you know you how Dry it. loves his Tempest. Yeah. Went from being a bit of a Tempest non-enjoyer to a Tempest enthusiast, you know, over time. Because I remember a while back he was on. <laughs> he had the he list was, of Tempest players. He had players. the list, yeah. yeah. He had the list. He was the one who made the list. And oh, hoo -hoo, instant back air. And Darai with the pop-off in game number three, up 2-1 against Kusi. The crowd once again going wild for Darai here. I think he's feeding off that energy. He's Absolutely. Got, he's got his boys behind him. He's got the crowd cheering. Wants the big upset. Wants to ride to see winners finals for the first time in a very, very long time. Yeah, not only is he very popular in the community, but he's also the underdog, so that just makes him especially compelling. Yeah, and I imagine if you're Kus, you kind of feel a little bit flustered, maybe just a little bit flustered by something like that, where the crowd is very actively against you, you know? Yeah, I, I would say though, like, you're you're in winners, Ooh. and also, it's still Kusi, Yeah, right? exactly. We've seen this man quite literally win tournaments, right? over people like Cake Assault, which there's like a handful of people that can ever say they've done that. Yeah, there's a handful of people who can never say that they've won tournaments. Period. Exactly, yeah. Like that's an elite club. And so, in this case, like one of these two players really wants to put themselves in that in that club. We ooh. saw Kusi almost do it twice before. And I mean, Darai is really looking for his big opportunity to prove that he can do it as well. Yeah, stealing that stock with the fair spike, and we are back to even stock. The bash gonna galaxy At though. Seventy-one At, before the hit, and on this stage, right? The, the blast zones are huge on treetop. Dan, Dan, come in, Dan. <laughs> I think we have a little bit of a situation over here. We may have a bit of an oopsie daisy. Oh, he's on vacation. He's not here. Oh no! no. <laughs> oh, it's over. All right, but Darai still—you cannot count him out. He knows how to adapt, and he knows how to go for strong hard reads that will get him the swing back into the game real quick just like that 78 and counting the 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 ways he's picking up like on on the dropped combos is insane galaxy Ooh, yeah 96 the after the hit yeah waited out knew that kusi wasn't going to do anything because sign was right on top of him and waited for that oh, oh he no. died out he had the di this time he was waiting for it and now we're back to neutral yeah okay here we go gets a down air no sign follow-up yeah, just couldn't quite find the coverage there. But DI out on yeah. the up air to avoid any follow-up. And he is out of there. We're going to game five. Our first game five. You asked and you shall receive. Game five, Kusi versus Durai. Winner goes to winner's finals to fight the winner of Cake and Penguin. Oh, what this tournament is so cool. Yeah, this is going to be an insane game five set. And I mean, that game wasn't too far off of being Durai's. I mean, realistically, one good combo string, maybe one or two edge guards, and 
Dry could have swindled that game away. We saw how early he got that stock off of the sign track fairy. Absolutely. Merchant, but game <gasps> five. A these, treat for you? These are men after my own heart. I love a good merchant. It's a little bit late in the set than I normally pick it, uh, being an Arizona resident myself, but I am happy to see it make an appearance. Yeah, I mean, better late than never, you know? What what better spot to uh, to, to put Merchant Point in than the, uh, the end to a fantastic set, Game 5? Exactly. If, if it's not Game 1, it's got to be Game 5. And I also, I, I like it in general because it's a bigger stage, so Durai's going to have a lot more room to DI away from uh, what Kusi is going for and uh, has more room to run away from these uh, these sign setups, as well as he, uh, what he's doing right now. He gets to just charge and throw these needles with reckless yeah. abandon. Oh, and he and finds there, that there's, kill. There's a clean stock right there off of a really nice, solid edge guard. And we've got a tongue combo online. What's the stop? Okay, right. just not, back. Get, okay, not okay, getting okay, too okay, much, okay, okay, okay. but okay. still getting off the side of the stage there, which yeah. is a really dangerous place for him. I mean, to throw out tongue now, game five, when you haven't really been doing it in the first place, is some wild Ooh. stuff. But forward air to up air off the side, Kusi's not afraid to go deep for those edge guards either. Yeah, he knows that he can get it and get back. It's just the uh, absolute mastery of the way this character moves. Yeah, all right, gets, uh -oh. the, gets the resources back though. Great, right, let's cancel back. to the back air. Oh. We have Kusi off stage again, uh, back airing through the needles this time, so we avoid a repeat of the first stock. Yeah, he's been doing that a little bit this set, uh, just using back air as a tool to just kind of get around the oppressive needle game that uh, Darai's been throwing out. But off tilt, hurt box shifting. Oh, Ooh. E yeah, that's a rough DI out on the dash attack, but gets back to stage, instant reversal. Yeah, I. Oh, the Woo! sign pop into the team up F strong. What yeah. a kill confirm. Beautiful stuff from Kuzi. Yeah. And now this is a bit of a hill to climb for Durai here. Yeah, potential winner side stock right now. But oh, great read on the back here. Turn around, needles. All right, gets him off stage. That's no air right, for Kuzi. Yep. That's going to be a needle fair to kill. And we're right. last stock 0%. Game five, winner side. And the crowd is getting loud. They are rowdy. People are cheering. They want Durai to win. They want to see the big upset. They want to see their boy in winner's finals. But Kuzi saying no. Ooh. These neutral exchanges are always so terrifying. And th this is, again, what I was saying earlier uh, coming into play. Durai has the room to run away and use these needles on this stage. Yeah, and you Whereas see, something like, like Treetop, he didn't. E oh, no. no. Okay, good DI. Has his jump, so he can jump cancel it. But this is the one big kill. Oh, oh, my God, gets there. He comes back, like, almost unopposed. Kusi just wasn't ready to deal with the recovery there. Yeah, maybe just thought it was going to kill. Ooh. Oh, great. Let's cancel, but good DI out. I'm starting to think that's the real reason he uh, took this, was for the ledge cancels. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't blame, but... Oh, doesn't go for the second one. We're coming back. Ledge cancel bear once again. Kusi tried to call it out with a parry, but just quite couldn't quite get it. Oh, my God. Okay, this is huge. This is a huge edge guard right now. Oh, catches oh. the air dodge. The bubble's there. Yeah, but drifts out to avoid getting hit by anything in particular. The back air through the needles again. We've got Darai oh. off stage. The sign pop into the up air and still not quite killing. Off oh, the, the top. top! Off the top with the up air. Kusi taking it last hit game.